Hello, everybody. So today we're going <clears> to <throat> discuss problem solving, lesson 8.9. We're on page 355 of the third grade textbook. So problem solving, find the whole group using unit fractions. And the essential question you should be able to answer by the end of the lesson is, how can you use this strategy, draw a diagram to solve fraction problems? All right, so let's look at the unlock the problem. Cameron has four clownfish in his fish tank. One third of the fish in the tank are clownfish. How many fish does Cameron have in his tank? So four of his fish are clownfish. That's one third of the fish. Okay, so not four isn't all of his fish. Only four of them are clownfish, and, and that represents one-third. So let's look at how we can solve, organize and solve this problem. I need to find how many fish are in Cameron's tank. What information do I need to use? Well, we know that he has four clownfish, and that that represents one third of the fish in the tank. So how will I use the information? I'll use the information to draw a diagram. That's the skill we are practicing to solve these problems today. So describe how to draw a diagram to solve. The denominator in one third tells you that there are three equal parts in the whole group. So we're going to draw three circles to show three equal parts. Since four fish are one third of the whole group, we're going to draw four counters in the first circle. Since there are four circles in the four, four <laughs> since there are four counters in the first circle, we'll draw four counters in each of the remaining circles, and then we'll find the total number of counters. So this is what we're talking about. So we know that we, the clownfish represents one third of his total, okay? So remember the denominator tells you how many equal groups, so one third. The third tells us there are three equal groups. One of those four groups is clownfish. And it told us that there were four clownfish. So if all of these are equal groups and there were four clownfish, these other ones have to be a different fish. I don't know, so like fish one, fish two. So how many fish does he have in the tank? Four, eight, twelve. Twelve fish in the tank. And one third of twelve would be four. All right, let's look at this one. A pet store has two gray rabbits. One eighth of the rabbits at the pet store are gray. How many rabbits does the pet store have? So Two of the rabbits are gray, and that's one eighth of the rabbits. Okay, so he has the pet store has more than two rabbits. Okay, but oh, there's only two gray rabbits. What do I need to find? How many rabbits does the pet store have? What information do you need to use? Well, that there are two gray rabbits, and they are one eighth <clears throat> of the total number of rabbits.
how will I use information? Okay, so our skill again is that we're practicing is to draw a diagram of the information in the problem. Okay, so what was the first step? <clears throat> we looked at the denominator in one third. So we're going to write the same thing, except we're going to say the denominator in one eighth tells you that there are eight equal parts in the whole group. So the denominator in one eighth. Eight equal parts in the whole group. So now, what we're going to, how are we going to use that one? Eight? Well, if we look again at the problem we already solved, it tells you draw three circles to show the three equal parts. So this time we're going to draw how many circles? We'll draw eight. Draw eight circles to show the eight equal parts. Okay, so after we draw eight circles, then what do we do? We're going to use some more information from the fraction. Since four fish are one third of the whole group, draw four counters in the first circle. Okay, in our problem, there are two gray rabbits. Okay, so <clears throat> since Since two rabbits are one eighth of the whole group, draw two counters in the first circle. And then we're going to put two counters in the remaining part of the circles. So then draw two counters in the remaining circles. Okay, so we have eight circles because we have eight equal parts. Okay, we have two gray rabbits in the first circle. The two gray rabbits is one eighth of the group. So all the rest of the circles are also one eighth each. So they each have to have two rabbits. So it doesn't matter what the colors are. I don't. It could be white, uh, black, um, mixed. Maybe some more white ones. Maybe a couple brown rabbits. Maybe a couple more black rabbits, and so on. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So the bottom line is. That if there are eight groups of two, then we have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. We have sixteen rabbits.
Okay, so 16 rabbits is reasonable because 1 eighth of 16 is 2. How did your diagram help you solve the problem? So this is why I, th I thought the diagram was helpful. I could see there were two counters in the first circle. And so since the parts are equal, the rest of the circles each had two. It was easy to count. To count the amounts by twos. All right, so that's basically the strategy we're going to be using, okay? Drawing a diagram. So, <clears throat> unlock the problem. Circle the question, underline important facts, and put the problem in your own words. Choose a strategy you know. So those are just some, some get general guidelines. So I would actually like to underline the question and circle the facts. All right, so Lily, we know, has three dog toys that are red. One-fourth of all the toys are red. So we're going to draw, so we need to find, basically they're telling us one-fourth equals three red toys. So the denominator tells me how many circles I need. So I'm going to draw four circles to show four equal parts. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now we're going to put three toys in the first circle. Draw three toys in first circle. And I'm just going to put... Um, three counters. One circle represents the number of red toys. The remaining parts are not red toys. So now we're going to draw three toys in each of the remaining circles. So how many toys does she have? Three, six, Nine, twelve. Twelve dog toys. And actually, when I look back out here where I said next, draw three toys in first, just say draw three toys in one circle, okay? Because it's only one fourth. The one tells us that there's only going to be one circle with three red toys. All right, number two. What if she has four toys that are red? How many dog toys would she have? Well, <clears throat> we gotta assume that they're still asking us that one fourth equals the toys that are red. So if it's one fourth, we still, this time we would draw four circles again. And but this time we would put four red toys in one circle because four equals one fourth, and then I would put four in the remaining circles. Then I would count to find the total amount of toys. Four, four is eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. She would have sixteen toys. 
Number three, the pet store sells bags of pet food. There are four bags of cat food. One sixth of the bags of food are bags of cat food. How many bags of pet food does the pet store have? One sixth are cat food. And so there are four bags of pet food. So we're going to say one sixth equals four bags of cat food. One sixth of the bags of food are bags of cat food. So the, the denominator tells me how many equal parts. So we're going to have six equal parts. And one of them equals four bags of cat food. So put four in one circle. And then how many do I put in the rest of the circles? Well, remember, they're, they're all equal, correct? So I have to have four in every circle. Or in every part, every group. So four. And 4 is 8. 8 and 4 is 12. 16. 20. 24. So 24 bags of pet food. Number 4. Rachel owns two parakeets. One fourth of all her birds are parakeet. Parakeets. Okay, so one fourth of her birds are parakeets. How many birds does she have? So she's got more than just the two parakeets. It's just that of her birds, two are parakeets. So we could say one fourth equals two. And that's what it's telling us. One fourth of her birds are parakeets. One fourth equals two. So the four tells us there are four equal groups. And we're counting one. So we're going to put two parakeets in one circle. We put two in the remaining circles because they're equal parts. So how many birds? Two, four, six, eight. Eight total birds. All right, 358, number five. <clears throat> Before lunchtime, Abigail and Teresa each read some pages from different books. Abigail read five or one fifth of the pages in her book. Okay. Teresa read six or one sixth of her book. Who read more pages? How many more pages? So we can write Abigail here. And she read five pages, which was one fifth of her book. So we can say Abigail, one fifth equals five. Teresa, read one-sixth, which was six pages. All right, so now we have the basic information we need. Now the denominator in Abigail's problem tells me that there's five equal parts. And in every, in one's group, we're going to put five. Okay. Well, all these groups are equal, so there has to be five in each group. Well, we, we can count by fives, right? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So her book has twenty-five pages. All right, Teresa's. She read one-sixth, and that was six pages. 
So she has six equal parts. And in one circle, we're going to put three. I'm sorry, we're going to put six. Okay, because six equals one sixth of the, group, of the group. And all the remaining circles will also have six. All right, so six plus six is 12. So let's do this 12. So every two groups is 12. What's 12 plus 12 plus 12? Two, four, six. One plus one plus one is three. So 36 pages. All right, so now we can answer the question. Whose book had more pages? Teresa. How many more pages? 36 minus 25. 11 more pages. Okay. All right, number six. Six friends share five meat pies. Each friend first eats half of a meat pie. How much more meat pie does each friend need to eat to finish all the meat pies and share them equally? Draw a quick picture to solve. Six friends share five meat pies. Each friend eats half. How much more does the person have does each friend have to eat to finish all the meat pies? Okay, so why don't we draw five circles to represent the meat pies? All right, so so it said each friend first eats half of a meat pie. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that represents the six friends. Now we still have to, so those are gone. They, they've eaten these, okay? Because each friend ate half. These have not been eaten. So we have two to share with six friends. Well, couldn't we have break each of these last two pies into sixths? All right. And so if they're broken into six pieces, each friend would get one. One piece of each of the meat pies. So how much would they get? One sixth and one sixth. That would be two sixths. There is one other way we could break up these last two pies. So they had two remaining and there's six people. So if we put each of these sections into threes, something like that, they're not equal, sorry. But you can see that there are six pieces, right? And so each person would get one third of a pie. Okay. So they either get two sixths of a pie, which is the same as one sixth. All right. Seven. Braden bought four packs of hot, of dog treats. He gave four treats to his neighbor's dog. Now Braden has twenty four treats left for his dog. How many dog treats were in each pack? How explain how you know. So this is not a fraction problem. This is um, a problem that we've had in the past. And so <clears throat> if we start with, let's see, he gave, he bought four packs. He now has 24 treats. All right, so let's draw how many he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, so Braden has 24 dog treats. Now, he had given four to his neighbor. Well, didn't he originally have those? So we need to give him back those. Okay, so we're going to add back those four that he gave away. So now he has, how many did he have before he gave the neighbor four? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. 28 divide by four packs. How many fours equal 28? Well, we have 28 right here, right? So how many rows of fours do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there were seven dog treats in each pack. So he has seven dog treats in each pack. Right? We just solved that 28 divided by four or seven. He had 24 after giving away the four that he needed. Uh, he gave away four. We need to add those, those back to the total. Okay, because he had originally bought those. So we add those back to the 24 he had. So that gives him 28. And then 28 divided by four. Four gives us seven. All right, and number eight. Two hats are one third of the group. How many hats are in the whole group? So we have three groups. That's represented by the three, the denominator in one thirds. Two hats is one third. How many hats are in? The whole group. Well, each group has two, so two, four, six hats. All right, so that's it for lesson eight, nine. In our next session, we'll we'll review for the chapter eight test. So until then, may the numbers always be in your favor.